and I'm gonna turn, what's up Gustavo, how's it going? Mike, what's up? We're about to get this shindig started. Um, hate to break it to you, but um, actually this one's gonna angle up a little higher and to the left, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, maybe if I'm farther away like that, that's good. Mm, kind of cutting me off a little bit. But that's good. Cool. Awesome. Great. This is going to be fun. So, um, hate to break it to you guys, but um, we had a little cancellation, which tends to happen, and um, you're going to be stuck with me. All right. Awesome. But this is great because uh, this is really like the official number one, episode number one. And um, it's going to be great to kind of break down the layout. What's up, Katie? What up, David? Yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. This is going to be such a rad series. I'm so excited for it. I've got four, uh, the next four Fridays booked up with super awesome, powerful people who have that mindset and muscle thing down. Um, we're going to be sharing like tons of tips, tons of awesome, awesome knowledge and just boom, blasting it all out there. So um, well, I'm going to start with some deep breaths, so that's going to kind of ground me and make me the most efficient for you guys. So, um, yeah, I am wearing pink socks, just embracing my feminine side. So I'm going to do three nice big deep breaths here. Boom. I am charged. I am ready to rock and roll. I'm excited. Um, so the other cool thing about this is I want it to be really interactive. So if you have questions or clarifications, please just post them on the live and I'll, I'll answer them or whoever I'm with will. Um, we also have a little guest visitor here who might be popping in and out. That's a uh, gizmo. Gizmo, come here, boy. Anyway, so we're going to launch into this. So this is the way that the layout is, is set. I'm really excited about this. So basically we do an introduction. I would introduce, I'd say, what's up? This is Dustin Conrad of Bands and Body Fitness. Um, I'm here today with whoever the person is and I'm going to introduce them not by whatever they do and who they are really, but who they are to me. So for example, uh, Dr. Layton, she is a, um, a dear friend. She's also uh, the person who does all our coaching calls to our clients. She's a fucking super powerhouse woman. She's like unstoppable. Um, she's a cancer survivor um, and she takes no shit from anyone and she fucking tells you how it is. She has no filter, um, but in a really awesome way. So, um, so yeah, she's super cool. So I'm excited for when she does come on the show. I don't know what happened. I didn't even hear from her. She didn't cancel or anything. She just didn't show up and I tried to reach her and I couldn't. So. Anywho, so that would be step number one. Um, the second one is I would go ahead and start with our first question and I'm gonna just do these questions towards myself. So the question is, what is your favorite thing about yourself? And my favorite thing, thank you for the thumbs up, my favorite thing 100% is my fucking super inappropriate sense of humor and um, embracing it and learning, learning how to express it in all circumstances. That's the one thing as I feel in these first impressions I really censor myself and that's like my primary f point of focus and, and what I'm working on right now is you know really uh, um, embracing my funky side and you know not being so serious like I, I can never remember a person's first name when I meet them it, I'm so focused and narcissistically obsessive with how I'm appearing and presenting myself I'm hello I'm Dustin Conrad nice to meet you you know the super serious version of not who Dustin is but the version that I feel is acceptable, you know, universally. So I kind of hide out in my my um, my uniqueness and my full expression. So that's what I'm working on right now. My favorite thing is that aspect about myself. Um, and briefly saying what I'm doing with my occupational life. Um, most of you guys obviously know I own Bands and Body Fitness. I created something called Multi Limb Resistance Training. It's basically just a way of training your upper and lower body simultaneously with resistance bands. Um, and all that means is that you're, you're uh, working upper and lower body and maximizing your results and the time that you're spending in your workouts. You burn a ton more calories. You also strengthen your nervous system because there's a lot of coordination involved. And, um, and it's a super efficient workout. It's basically, I'm a, uh, like a freak when it comes to multitasking. So I just put all that freakiness and multitaskingness into this crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy workout. And the coolest part is that it's synchronized with music 
we literally take you on a journey through the music and every step of the workout follows the trajectory of the, the song. So it's really, really fun. And um, if you've never done it, please come and do a, a Saturday class. We have an open Saturday session. Um, we also are doing next Friday a free glow in the dark workout. We're doing our glow in the dark workout this time totally for free um, and for fun. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. So if you're free next Friday at 8.30, it's gonna be a blast. Let's see who else is here. Oh, what up, Julie? Man, I miss you. Wow, I haven't seen you in a while. Christiana, what's up? Yeah, it's great to see all you guys. Um, yeah, this is gonna be great. So um, yeah, we were just doing my introduction. I was talking about what I'm doing in my occupational life, which is Bands and Body. How did I get into it? Um, Basically, it's a long story, but to keep it short, I was on the other side of the tracks of health and fitness, <laughs> basically a, a total drug addict, as most of you guys know, and um, I got to my rock bottom with open heart surgery by shooting up crystal meth, and uh, um, yeah, and I had a totally different kind of opening of the heart after that, and uh, dedicated my life and myself to really uh, serving others. and you know, being my highest and best self. So I've been on this journey of like service and um, self-service really, self-care. And uh, and yeah, it's been a journey and it's been exciting and it's been, you know, um, uh, frustrating and confusing and rewarding and amazing and all those things. And, you know, and I just I just love it. So, uh, so yeah, that's how I got into it. I flipped around 180 and I did it the other side of uh, existence where it's health, fitness, love, and service. So, um, I still have the self-absorption, <laughs> obviously, you know, I was just talking about that first impression thing, being so concerned with first impressions that I can't really access my full expression of my truth. So that's one thing about it. Um, hmm, what makes it different and special? Well, <laughs> bands and body, there really is nothing remotely like it. Um, it's a completely different training modality. Um, the actual program that we offer, which is called the BOD transformation, is is a, a very, in, in my opinion, a, a very uh, progressive style of program. It focuses on um, what I figure, uh, what I what I believe are the four main deficiencies that restrict people from getting awesome results, and they are uh, um, mindset, um, not targeting the right muscles, or doing the enough amount of activity. Um, not drinking enough water and not having the proper diet that's going to fuel your body to burn more fat and build more muscle. So we call it the BOD transformation. It stands for breath work. That's your mindset and also stabilizing your nervous system so you stop producing cortisol. Activity, that's your fire that's going to burn the fat away with multi limb resistance training. Water, that's the liquid that's going to sustain you, create all the electrical conduction in your body so that even your brain chemistry functions better and you're happier and calmer. And then diet is really the nutrition that's going to sustain you and create a clean and well-functioning digestive system that burns more, more fat and builds a lot more muscle. So um, that's the program and in a nutshell. And, um, uh, and yeah, there's really nothing like it. So check out videos. If you haven't come, come to a class. It's, it'll blow your mind. It's fun. It's really fun. I love sharing it. I love teaching it. And uh, I'll say also that I really thought my passion was like transforming people, which I feel totally devoted and passionate about that. But I also feel that my huge one that even takes priority over that, if I feel if I'm being completely honest, is that I just want to share it. I just love doing it myself so much, and I and I get so much feedback. I just had these tourists, these British tourists, come and um, book me for a, 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 a three person session today, and. And uh, they were just like blown away and you know to see that you know not not yeah it does feed my ego a little bit but just to see the joy and the, and the fun that they had and laughter and it really does excite me so more than the transformation aspect the, the helping people have fun in fitness I feel is even more supersedes that so um, so yeah that's that um, what's the next level for me? Basically, um, that's a great question. It's great that I'm doing this right now because the next level is having awesome. Thank you so much for the love. Um, the next level is is having um, bands and body the class format. There's eight different series and they all target different um, planes and angles of muscles, and they all have different intentions behind them. Getting that series. Uh, licensed and formatted into gyms everywhere. That's the next step. Actually, that's the second step. The next step that I'm currently engaged in is uh, um, expanding into Beverly Hills, duplicating what we're doing down here over there in an out outdoor fitness uh, arena. 
So um, what we did was last week we shot a video and the video uh, went super well. It was one of the best ones we've done and uh, showing the, the different series, how fun it is, how everyone can do it and, um, and, uh, and yeah, some other stuff, some talking head stuff that I did about, um, yeah, just how I developed it and why and, and you know, where it's going. So yeah, getting uh, bands and body and gyms everywhere. It'll be like you'll see Zumba, spin class, uh, boxing, and then bands and body. You know, that's that's where I see. And um, after that, uh, or before that, duplicating into Beverly Hills, and that's easy. We're launching ads right now, and we're gonna be uh, um, uh, in there in no time. Like I'd say in three weeks, I'll, I'll be I'll be doing intakes over there, and then training up a new trainer to take it over. So. Um, Tell us briefly why you exercise and what got you started. <laughs> well, you know, I w did, was not concerned with my health in, in my youth and when I did that 180 and really twisted into like self-care and, and external care of others, I really shifted and um, changed my paradigm to really working on creating my optimal um, self and that meant, you know, mentally and physically. So. That's really how I got into it. Um, I saw my little brother, he was a trainer, and he uh, he was crushing it really financially um, and seemed like he was having a great time. And I saw that it really involved, you know, helping people and, and you know, one-on-one -on -one at first. So it was like you really got to, to um, make a huge impact on someone personally. So, so that was what really got me into it. Um, my primary workout, uh, I jump around a lot. My Definitely my primary workout is BAMS workout, obviously because I do a ton of videos, so I'm always working out with them and experimenting with them. Um, but also uh, because I love them and I feel so passionate about it and the music synchronization is just the, uh, for some reason, working with music, working out with music is just like, yeah, that, that's where it's at for me. I love that. I love, it's like a creation of you have a song, any song, and you just follow the breaks and choruses and all these things, and you create this, you know, it's, and, and it's never the same. I mean, it's always similar, but it's never the same. Even if we use the same song, I, I, I change it a little bit, so I love that. Um, when is the best time to exercise? Um, in my opinion, it's the morning. Do I do that? No. <laughs> I'm totally not a morning person. I'm lucky I can even get up and do my five minute breath work uh, practice with some gratitude spliced in there. But, um, but uh, yeah, I think morning is the best. Where, when I primarily do it is midday or whenever I can. Um, and that, I think the next question is, let's see, uh, um, uh, oh. Yeah, no, when do you feel is the best time to exercise? <laughs> An answer to that is just whenever you're willing to. <laughs> but from a health standpoint, I think in the morning is the best. Jumpstart your day, set the tone for it, and also jumpstart your metabolism and your blood circulation. So, um, let's see. What do I feel is the best exercise? Bands and body, obviously, 100% all the way. I'm so convinced that it's, uh, the, that it's the most efficient way to burn as much calories, work as much muscles as you possibly can in a short time. So that's that. Um, do I have any suggestions for someone who wants to start? Uh, um, commit to it, you know? And, and know that every time you fight it and you don't want to do it, that when you, when you push past that is when you ingrain this new, more powerful personality. You change a little bit more each time you do that. So look for those times, capitalize on those times when you have that resistance and you're like, oh, I don't want to fucking do this. Like, oh man, I've got all these other things to do or I just feel tired or uncomfortable or I have a headache. Just do it, just do it. Even if it's just a little, every little bit counts. So um, yeah, highly recommend that and um, uh, so for starting, yeah, and start slow. Don't cream yourself. Ease into it. Maybe a yoga class would be a good entry level. Go to do a yoga class on the beach if you're nearby one, and you know, fall in love with that aspect of nature and intertwining that spirituality in it. Um, get on class pass. If you don't know what that is, you can explore a ton of different ones. The only thing with that is they don't customize and progress to you personally, like our program does. But um, but our generic program and um, that I'm going to be having in gyms will not. So. It'll be kind of like that sort of same sort of thing. Um, let's see. And what do I do when I don't want to exercise? <laughs> okay. Well, um, sometimes I'm just compassionate with myself, and I'm like, you know, what? Look, just 
just today is going to be a relaxation day. Like, and lately I had foot surgery, so I haven't been able to do a lot. I mean, I have been doing some. I know it has been agitating my foot every time, but I'm what's called a uh, addictive personality, <laughs> so I need to just move a little bit, and I and I like to do it a little bit more intense. So, um, so yeah, just uh, definitely, I just you know, I just I just push myself. I just push myself, and um, and and I do it. Um, other things I do are I really like just focus on my mind, the mindset aspect and I say to myself like look you know um, reminding myself that in these times it's when the change happens when I push past that old self of what it's saying to me oh you don't want to do this you can't do this oh you don't want to see people right now all these bullshit you know illusions delusions and I just go for it and I know I feel better and that's a great segue into the next question which is uh, um, how does exercise affect your mindset you know it's a uh, a, the brain chemistry, B, the blood circulation, C, the empowerment of uh, stretching beyond your limits, or superseding your, um, uh, seeing your progress, superseding your last workout, and, um, and also just the idea of like, I feel working your muscles, knowing and creating that body awareness of like, okay, I, I'm in my body, I feel this, you know, um, and, uh, that's a great segue into our next portion, which is really tell us about your mindset, what your mindset is like currently, which I kind of already started in the beginning, and I was mentioning that um, currently my mindset is is uh, it, it's it's been it's been a weird six, it's been a weird year, you know, this last six seven months, eight, almost eight months, wow, um, where I've been going up and down with um, my recovery, I've been going up and down with my. Um, socialism, a social aspects. I've been going up and down with my moods, and um, but all through it, I have been having a thread of consistency with my morning practice, with my um, uh, search for more and better versions of myself, and using it really as an investigation of like what what you know what can this open up for me? You know, if I'm going to decide to check out for a little bit. What, what's my reasoning and what can that kind of inspire for me? Let's see who's jumping on here. Tristan, what up, man? Cool, wow, miss you too. Wow, all these people, I really, really miss you guys. Um, so yeah, we're talking about uh, mindset and muscle and we just went through my introduction, we went through my uh, muscle aspect of my exercise approach and what I do and how I do it and what I recommend for someone starting. Um, and now we're involved in the mindset and I was saying what my mindset is like currently. Currently today, my mindset is super powerful, super confident, feeling surety, feeling um, you know faith in my progress and my trajectory, um, but also feeling a little restricted and stuck in this first impression thing that I talked about in the beginning. It's like I am so concerned with, or it's, it's not. I, I don't want to care what people think about me. I really don't. But it's ingrained in me for so long that when I meet someone, a stranger, I cannot, or I don't want to say I can't because that's a limiting word, I struggle or I, I, um, I, it's a challenge for me to self-express, to be my funky, quirky, inappropriate self right off the bat because I know that's not universally accepted. So my go-to is being this universally acceptable, serious Dustin, which I hate and it fucking conflicts me because it's so opposite of who I am as this inappropriate, sarcastic motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm just embracing that right now and really, uh, really, um, you know, investigating what it's like to be a little different. And I did an experiment the other day. I was at a, uh, an AA meeting, a morning meditation meeting, and I'm, and I realized one thing I said to myself, what do I need to, um, be more self-expressed? What do I need to, um, uh, what are the qualities and the things that create self-expression? Where am I lacking? And I realized it's vocal tone. It really is, and if you've noticed in this video, I've been using a lot of variety of vocal tone. And it's body language. Who's that? What up, John? How's it going, man? Um, it's body language, you know, and, and how I move myself. So if I'm like, hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? I'm Dustin Conrad, and I'm super serious and professional. Nice to meet you. And I don't even move, you know? That's like such a censored version of who I am versus if I'm like, what's up? Dude? And I even hug, and I'm like, because that's who I am. I'm a loving hugger, you know? I'm like, I don't care who you are, and I don't care if you don't you resist my hug. That's fine, you know, whatever, you know? That's the shit that I get to work on and not take personally. 
So I'm like, what's up? How's it going? I'm Dustin. Nice to meet you. Who are you? What are you all about? Let's talk about it, you know, and really fully connect with someone. So that's, that's kind of like the, the things that I, um, I'm working on. Okay, so the next question is, what did you start working on? Why did you start working on my mindset? Well, I was forced to, <laughs> A, because of my drug addiction and recovery aspect, so it just kind of like came hand in hand. But, however, I will say that the question was, why did I start working on my mindset? I realized that there was a big, big gap between who I am and who I want to be and who I am portraying, presenting. So it was, what's up, Alex? Good to see you. Man, I love you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, yeah, we're doing these every Friday at 1.30. Uh, usually I have a guest. Today they just didn't show up. I didn't hear from them, and they, it's very unlikely of her, so I don't know what happened, but uh, we'll update later. But we're talking about mindset and muscle. We're on the mindset portion. I talked about my exercise and who I am. And the question I was answering was, why did I start working on my mindset? And really it was because I saw the gap of who I wanted to be, who I truly am, and who I was currently portraying it to be, you know? And, um, and it didn't match, and it frustrated and conflicted me. So it caused me a lot of suffering and a lot of numbing and distracting from it. You know, that's my big thing. Um, what was my mindset like 10 to 20 years ago? <laughs> Actually, wait, this is supposed to be, I'm supposed to say like an amount of time. So for me, I'm gonna choose 10 years ago because, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 15 years ago because um, that was like within the depths of my drug use and craziness and rebelling and um, who's this? Amran, <laughs> what's up, man? Oh man, Amran is my uh, virtual assistant. He's rad, if anyone ever needs any. Um, uh, uh, delegating work out, you know, outsourcing work, he's great. Um, so he's right there. Um, yeah, so what, what was I like 15 years ago? I was, I was an introvert, but I was also uh, extroverted with drug use, and I was also um, insane. <laughs> I would be reckless, I did not give a fuck, I would just do whatever I felt like, super selfish. Um, all over the place, no grasp on any kind of like mental, physical awareness. Who's that? Hey, what's up? What up? Yep, no worries. Great to see you, man. Let's, yeah, let's catch up. Um, Tristan, I love you. Yeah, have a good one. Great weekend. Um, so yeah, I was crazy 15 years ago, and, um, and now I'm still crazy, but in a more <laughs> authentic way. <laughs> Uh, what do you do to maintain your current mindset? All right, well, this is where it gets awesome, and especially when we have our guests, because there's a ton of shit I do, and I really do a lot. So I have a deep thirst for being the best, highest version of myself, and uh, there's so many things that I do. Um, where to even begin? I mean, I do a lot of workshops and seminars. I've done Landmark, I've done MITT, 